Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is your man Jason here with the Power Up Review, bringing you a little bit something different, a little bit of Minecraft. And I haven't picked up Minecraft in about two months, um, but when it came out, I was playing it pretty religiously. Now, this is the Xbox 360 version. This is not the PC version. Uh, I own both versions, and uh, the PC version does have a couple more updates. Uh, pertaining to dungeons, NPCs, and combat and stuff like that. But uh, I'm just going to do this little video uh, showing you my pride and joy, which is pretty much my my Minecraft castle. So uh, let's go ahead and take a look. Now here I got a sweet bridge going to the front door. And as you can see, I got uh, walls surrounding my uh, my house that's in the inside. I plan on replacing these torches with some um, some glowstone, and I have water all around. Now this was just an island that I kind of built on top of. Uh, I was going to do a mountain castle, but uh, it just was such a pain in the butt because the area that I picked, it was so high, it was actually above the clouds. Um, maybe eventually I'll build a castle or something up there, but for now this is kind of my main hub. This is a, a greenhouse that I built on the side. And inside I got all kinds of uh, wheat and sugar cane and stuff like that. This is a side entrance that I have with uh, this switch to um, if there's any creepers in front drop them into some lava below. Um, since I installed this trap, though, it's like they never come by, so. <laughs> but I always have to make sure if I go out this entrance that, uh, that it's shut. But I rarely use this entrance. There's the greenhouse. Inside I have some pumpkins. Um, as far as I know, they haven't released, released the patch yet to do pumpkin seeds and melon seeds and stuff. So these are just pumpkins that I found. And uh, I just kind of put them there um, to kind of fill the void. I have some cactus or cacti here, uh, sugar cane, and wheat. And I made these other stuff glass so I could walk on it, farm my wheat, and uh, all that good stuff. I'm going to try and show you the best that I can. Here I have a little dock that I like to go fishing out of, or if I need water. I can just go ahead and get water out of here. Uh, I installed the sweet waterfall on the side of my castle. Here I have an. Whoop! Fix the camera. This is kind of an obsidian mine, and I found a tutorial online how you can mine obsidian just using a uh, water, redstone, and lava. And so I got a couple buckets of water and lava. And uh, underneath there, you put redstone, and then you put the lava on top, and it makes it obsidian. Uh, if I get some requests, I'll maybe do a, um, uh, a tutorial on this. Um, I didn't come up with it. It wasn't my idea, but, you know, I watched so many Minecraft videos that I can't remember um, who I exactly saw this from. So I have to look that up before I go ahead and do a video. And in this chest, I just have a buckets of lava and uh, some leftover ham that I just kind of had laying around. Oh, I'll put my compass in there. So, that's my obsidian mine. And I keep closing my doors because I keep having, like, cows and farm animals and <laughs> just running all over my damn house. So, um, I have four watchtowers on each corner. And you can go on top of the uh, on top of the the greenhouse if you really want. I was debating if I was going to maybe plant some plant some trees up here. I think that might have been pretty cool. But as you can see, there's the four watchtowers on each corner. Um, I did put some chests up there because the plan was to have arrows up there. You know, bows and arrows. To uh, defend from any creepers or anything like that. Um, 
I just I've been kind of lazy, but I wanted to reinforce the walls with obsidian, and I'll eventually start swapping them out, swapping out the cobblestone with uh, obsidian. Um, as far as I can recollect, I think it's indestructible uh, against creepers. Uh, I'm hoping so. So what I'll have to do is build it from obsidian uh, from the ground up. I have another entrance here to the side that I've been installing a network of bridges so I can go to different islands. And I'll probably put another gate. I'll probably put another set of doors here. Um, but that's my another entrance. And this is my house. Pretty sweet pad. Got some bookshelves. Here's my kitchen. There's my cake. Here's a storage room of all a bunch of supplies, building materials, and um, tools, and uh, materials to make tools, stuff like that. Upstairs, I have some paintings. A sweet fireplace. I'm actually pretty proud of this because I think it's pretty damn awesome. Uh, and here's my bed. This is where the action happens. <laughs> and I got this big window to take a look out. And I do have a ladder that goes to the roof. If you want to go ahead and check this, check this stuff out. Get a good look of the land. And I put this uh, nether rock or nether rack, whatever they call it, um, on the top, so I can always kind of see where my house is. <laughs> Excuse me while I close this door. Don't mean to make you sick. And then also I do have a side entrance here. This is kind of a secret entrance that I installed. Now I haven't had any problems with creepers or anything like that, so but you have to swim underwater. And so this is kind of like, oh, it's kind of my secret, secret entrance. Right there. And I did put some glowstone around the area, just so you could see how, kind of how deep some of the areas are. Um, so far, my, my, the, the world that was generated for me is pretty damn cool. There's a lot of mountains, there's a lot of forests. I have a lot of like sand, beach areas. So um, it is pretty cool. And I am doing it on peaceful mode right now just so I can show you everything. And that's kind of how the best way that I like to actually like build everything too because then you actually can get some damn work done. Is uh, Just do it on peaceful mode. Uh, you build all your stuff and then when you want to do adventuring and exploring, then I just set it to... Uh, to normal mode or whatever but uh, all this dirt here on this side this is all going to be eventually replaced with obsidian so I have I'm an obsidian base for all of this and I probably expand do a bigger basement um, stuff like that and uh, one of my buddies was asking me, he's like, man, I don't know how you can play Minecraft all the time. And it's just, you know, it's, it's like, what's so interesting about it? And I guess it's because you get to kind of do whatever you want. You get to create your world. There's a little fountain that I made. Eh, it's okay. Kind of kind of ugly. <laughs> but, uh, you know, you get to kind of do your stuff. And it's kind of like survival, you know what I mean? I mean, you had to mine all this 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 ore and, and you know, go to the nether realm and get get uh, my glowstone and just all kinds of stuff so it's kind of like survival uh, you know you hunt for food and I don't know I just like uh, I love games where I could kind of do my own thing just explore and build and customize and and do what I want and uh, so this is my main hub uh, but I do have I do have other uh, other safe houses that I was kind of starting to link together. And it's, I'm kind of glad that the Xbox 360 version, the world isn't as big as the PC version because I could kind of control and kind of customize my world a little bit more. Now, they talk about doing some patches, maybe doing an adventure update, which would be pretty sweet. 
adding Endermen, maybe even the Ender Dragon, um, NPCs, dungeons, you know, that kind of thing would be cool. Uh, you're able to block with swords and actually draw back on the bow and, and aim, and it kind of zooms in a little bit, which is kind of cool because I do enjoy using the bow. So I'm coming this way. I might as well put some torches. And then this way, I can uh, just kind of tell. Yeah, I'm awake, Kyle. And I didn't close in the bridges just for the fact that in case I'm walking on the bridge and I encounter a creeper or some enemies on the bridges, uh, there's a likely chance they can fall off in the water and I could, you know, it'll be easier for me to shoot them with arrows. Uh, so this is my first safe house, or I should say one of my safe houses. They're not in any particular order. And I just built this one really quick. Um, just because it was two caves. Actually, there's like three caves in the area here. And uh, I like to explore them. So this is just nothing nothing fancy. Just a wooden house real quick. Maybe with a little bit of fence. It goes down here where you have the bed and a little pond or pool. I don't know. And then from here, I got a kind of a, a bridge. I dug through this mountain, <laughs> just went straight through to make a linking path uh, to another safe house. It's actually a tree house, and this is actually the first house that I built. And I made this path so you can kind of follow it. Oh, okay, you know, it'd be easy to follow. I like making my worlds easy for anybody that comes and joins and, and plays with me. They can kind of navigate pretty easy. This is my tree house. This was the first house that I built. Um, and uh, it's pretty cool. I always like doing the tree houses. I always made things kind of interesting. And there's a couple caves that I found and there's a lot of caves in my world too, which is kind of cool, and I haven't had a chance to like explore them all. Sometimes I'll be walking around and and just kind of looking around on peaceful while I'm doing you know trails and stuff like that, so you can kind of navigate the world easier. And uh, what I'll do is I'll uh, um what the hell I don't get what the hell's happening here. I don't know what happened. Um, but what I do would uh uh. I'd find a cave and just put just put um, torches all over the place. And then uh, go in later and explore it. So. And my world's pretty varied, which is kind of nice. And I, want, I want, also want to show you this thing. Like this was a, I built on it maybe a little bit. I want to say maybe I added maybe five blocks to it just to make it a little bit taller. But this thing here, this J that's up here, it's pretty damn cool. Uh, all I did was maybe put like five more blocks on the top up there to make it look more like a J. But like that was here, which is kind of cool. It was like, oh, hey, it's a J, J for Jason, awesome. And then there's kind of a... Uh, a little area underneath, which is pretty cool. But, um, you know, I was like, oh, man, it's like a the big J. And I debated maybe I might make it out of gold or something, <laughs> you know, which would be kind of cool. And I haven't even messed around with doing any mine, mine cart tracks or anything like that. I've just been kind of building and exploring, you know, and I got, you know, materials coming out of my butt cheeks. So... I'll have plenty of materials to make mine carts, and eventually I probably like to do them where they link, they link together. Um, now I'm giving you a tour of this area, and just kind of basically my world and the things that I've done. I've actually found a mob spawner, and if uh, you're not familiar with mo Minecraft and you don't know what a mob spawner is or what mobs are, mobs is pretty much what they call it, kind of like the bad guys, like you fight zombies and skeletons and and creepers that blow up and destroy your house and all kinds of stuff like that. And they come from these spawners, and they're like flaming cages. 
and you see the actually the you get to see the creature inside. And because I'm on peaceful mode, it'll be a pig, and it won't actually be a a, a creature. But this is actually a a zombie spawner. And what I did was I made a room to kind of push all the zombies when they spawn out. And then um, I hope I'm heading the right way. And then drown them. And then I'll collect all the goodies. And uh, I'm pretty sure it's... I'm pretty sure I'm going the right way. Again, i got to make a trail coming here. Because um, in that way you can kind of find it. And uh, now You have to stand by it for it to work. But you, get, you, get mainly, you mainly get feathers. Um, I was hoping they'd be skeletons. Uh, but they're zombies, so you just get a bunch of feathers, but you use those feathers to make bows and arrows and stuff. Or I should say, not bows and arrows, but arrows. And like I have forests, and then I have mountains with snow, and uh, a lot of water, and a lot of sand. So it, I like my world because it's, it's very varied. Um, very varied. <laughs> and so I put this sign here. Uh, Caution, zombie spawner behind wall. Do not break. So anybody that comes, there's the spawner. As you can see, it's a cage. And right now inside, it's just a, a pig because I'm doing it on peaceful mode. But it would be a zombie inside. And the zombies spawn. And they get pushed down with water into a room over here. And they'll drown here, and then the feathers will come out right here. And if I want, I could just kind of stand here, and then just kind of, and I can go do something else, and then the feathers will just, will just keep coming. And what I'll do is I'll save my game so I could show you. Exit and save. Okay. And then I'll change it to... Normal mode or easy mode. You know, usually I play on easy, uh, just because I enjoy it more. I seem to die less, which is awesome. <laughs> you know, it's not like you go and do something, and you know, usually when I play with people, I bump it up to, I bump it up to normal. Um, but usually I'm by myself, so. You could hear the zombies. Let me go up here. And the, but the area by the spawner has to be dark. Um, or else uh, they won't spawn because they have to spawn in the dark. So as you can see, I guess it still is a pig. <laughs> but you can hear the zombies because they're being spawned. And then I'm going to go down here and you should see them. There's a zombie, and there they are drowning, and then here comes the feathers. And so, like, for this, you know, you just kind of would go do something and just kind of leave it sitting like this. And then, uh, you know, collect all your feathers and all that good stuff. That's kind of all the stuff that I've done, um, besides all the all the insane amounts of mining that I've done. Um, I finally got some gunpowder and stuff from killing creepers, so I plan on, I got like three TNT blocks, and I have this kind of, this hollow mountain by my house. I think I'm going to throw them in there and and blow it up and, and see, see what's in there. But uh, I'll probably do that for another video. So, but uh, this is Jason, the Power Preview. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. If you got your own Minecraft videos or own tips or something like that, feel free to make a video response and stuff, and uh, you know I'll make sure I approve it. And and uh, you know thanks for watching. If you like what you see, subscribe, and uh, I'll see you later.